brought me all these roses that I so, so appreciate. I love roses. Never gonna marry queen. Yeah, that's cap. You know what I'm saying? Um. I must have been crazy. Thinking it'd be different now because I had your baby. So they had their six year anniversary and for their six year anniversary, everybody was like, Queen didn't really look like interested. After everybody was like commenting, Clarence, marry her, marry her, please. He was like, oh, perfect. Let me actually do a special video. She's in the car and he has like a ring shaped box in his hand. He lets her open it up. She looks super, super excited. It's a pair of earrings. Perfect. Have a good day. You can keep that trash too. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessica. If you guys are new, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. In today's video, I am going to be addressing the Queen situation. Um, I am a, a Queen Aisha fan. I have always been. I actually rock with her so hard. I've loved her since I was a freshman in high school when that medicine music video came out and I was jamming in my dorm. Like, perfect. Hey, have a good day. Perfect. Hey, have a good day. Y'all can keep that trash too. I was living it up. I honestly love, love, love her. And I've been watching her for a really long time. Here is the tea on why Clarence will never marry Queen. Oh, you know what would eat? You know what would be so crazy? If he actually proposed to her tomorrow, then this YouTube video would actually be useless. But yeah, this is like my opinion. If it happens, it happens. Thank God. Like, honestly, if it happens, I'm going to be thankful. I'm going to be filming a thank you video to Clarence. Thank you so, so much for deciding to actually lock down the woman who's been rocking with you since you were in your grandma's closet <laughs> wait i don't know if that's true <laughs> let me stop playing in the basement somewhere i'm sorry um so i think the first reason would definitely be that um i've seen this quote go around a lot of places is that comfortability breeds disrespect um i think especially in relationships when men get too comfortable they actually they feel like they can disrespect you and you tolerate it so it's gonna keep going um i feel like queen queen has always been somebody who's like emphasized the importance of marriage and how she really she and like she thinks that marriage is a very important and sacred thing um and i think she's ex expressed that to clarence and honestly he's been playing in her face um even after the fact and so it just is what it is i feel like when you're with somebody for a long time you offer them everything that they need why would they why would they get uncomfortable in order to adhere to your needs when they get everything that they need you know what i mean so i think that's number one comfortability definitely breeds disrespect Second thing is spiritually yoked. I don't think they're spiritually yoked. Okay, and hear me out. I know Queen Aisha, like, when you think of Queen Aisha, you're not thinking, oh my gosh, super, super Christian woman who, like, you know what I'm saying? But I will say, I feel like I've been watching her for a really long time, and I think she talks about God a lot in different aspects. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with her song, War Cry. I actually thought that song was a hit back in the day. Like, that song is actually so fire. And in that song, she actually highlights the importance of, like, I don't know, giving your life to God and giving your life to Jesus um and i think that's great i think that's wonderful but i will say um yeah i think her and clarence are on a different page you guys they're on a different page spiritually they're not in the same place and i feel like if you're not in the same place as somebody spiritually it's very hard to like feel connected to them on a deeper level so yeah that's how, that's what i get from that i feel like clarence is more so like a nonchalant um nonchalant wave head instead of dread head like he's just a nonchalant guy like he's not really looking into like spiritual stuff i don't think he's really somebody who's like oh like god jesus like you know like i'm maybe he does have his own faith that i'm just not familiar with but from what i see in their videos they're not really a couple that is like spiritually yoked or spiritually um in the same space today's video is sponsored by pocket tranquility pocket tranquility is a convenient therapy um, accessible mental health support for modern lifestyles, allowing sessions from home or on the go. If you guys are looking for therapeutic services that are holistic, that are affordable, um, check out the link in the description um, because yeah, that's literally what it offers. It actually is life-changing. It's very, it has courses. It has um, just so many options, therapeutic services, one-on-one -on -one with the staff there and um, group sessions if you're looking for something more community-based. But yeah, make sure you guys check it out and tell them that I sent you. We got some pastors false preaching. These church folks are leaving because they're so confused about these early teachings. <laughs> I actually forgot that I was supposed to be using this. Making, here we go. But that song is actually a hit. Like, 
let me know in the comment section if you guys actually like have heard that song before and if it actually resonates with you because i feel like it's so true even so come lord jesus like i literally need him to return take us home we're ready Okay, another reason. People know. People literally know. If you're meant to be with somebody, I promise you they know. They know if you're if you're meant to be with them long term. Like I feel like um men especially, like if they like you, Buki, you'll know for sure. Like you'll never have to question it a day in your life. Like they will rock with you till the wheels fall off. And so yeah, I think that's like something that like speaks volumes to me. I feel like Queen deserves better in that aspect. Like she deserves somebody who is willing to like meet her at the same where she's at and like if i think that's something that should have been talked about too but i will say their relationship was super super rushed and they had a baby really really early on so like that's another reason to why i'm like oh okay perfect have a good day people know when they are meant to be with somebody they know when they're gonna marry somebody and i feel like in queen's instance that is not that is not the case next reason is like it's kind of actually connected to the um reason i just stated is that um six years has gone by it's been six years six years is over half a decade i'm so sorry like six years is so much of people's so much of someone's life i will say like i feel like men celebrity men especially like men who are like in the spotlight they love to steal women's youth they really do they really do and i hate that so much for them so yeah honestly me and you girl me and you queen me and you queen i think you deserve better I think you deserve better. Her latest song that came out where she's talking about how she's sick of the way she's being treated. Okay, let's look it up. Oh, you know what will go so freaking hard? You know how she made uh, Butterflies? Um, and then she made Butterflies Part 2? Imagine if she made Dead Butterflies. <laughs> That would actually eat so hard. I would play that on repeat every single day. Here's my honest opinion. I think that Clarence is honestly just riding the wave for the fame. Um, for the fame, for the lifestyle. Um, I think he saw a money opportunity and he hopped on that. Um, at the end of the day, I think when him and uh, Queen break up, if they end up breaking up, God forbid, I actually think that they would be super cute together if they got married and lived like one big happy family um yeah if they end up breaking up like i definitely think queen will be the one paying. queen will be the one paying the child support i'm gonna keep it a stack like she's the talented one she's the one that we look to um and i think that he is famous because of her like but yeah like that's really the vibes that's really what it's giving and i wish them both well um as i'm literally capital capitalizing off of them perfect we all do it um yeah but yeah i love queen Nigel. i love i like clarence you know he's <laughs> clarence is cool he's cool people just put the ring on the girl's finger last but not least he was actually playing in her face um because everybody was like commenting and they okay this is what it is they had their six year anniversary and for their six year anniversary everybody was like queen didn't really look like interested in the video that she uploaded and it's like a whole thing and i'm like oh perfect um but after everybody was like commenting clarence marry her marry her please like please just like put a ring on that girl's finger she wants to be married so bad she wants to be a wife so bad he was like oh perfect let me actually do a special video he does a video where she's in the car and he has like a ring shaped box in his hand he lets her open it up she looks super super excited it's a pair of earrings perfect have a good day you can keep that trash too because why are you actually playing in my girl's face like it's actually sickening honestly i know that her heart was thumping and pumping because of how disappointed she was after the fact um but yeah like i feel like he really is just playing in her face and he doesn't actually like her for real because if he did he would have put a ring on it four three years ago three no he would have put a ring on it four years ago kudos to you buki kudos to you buki um but yeah so yeah this is gonna be the end of this video please let me know what your guys' thoughts on the clear thoughts are on the clarence and queen situation um do you guys agree with me do you guys think that he doesn't like her for real or do you guys actually think that he likes her and like oh i should be minding my own business because 
everybody's timing is different and i'm just playing you can state your opinion i really don't care for real uh i will respond in the comments i love hearing people's thoughts and stuff thank you so so much for watching i really appreciate all the love i've received and honestly seeing the new subscribers seeing the people talk like especially in the latest video that i did on b simone and megan ashley i love the love that i got on there guys like it really is appreciated and it's good good vibes like love you guys like comment and subscribe my next goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers so let's get to it let's go